my job at Bass is um, to be a paleontologist. So I'm a research scientist who studies fossils um, from uh, Antarctica. I've only been to Antarctica once. Um, I went uh, for a field season in 2009 for two months. I spent um, two weeks on base, one week either end of the um, trip, and then six weeks in the middle of the trip I spent living in a tent on um, a small island just off the Antarctic Peninsula, um, which was a really exciting experience. On a typical working day in Antarctica, um, well, we'll get up and um, we'll just have breakfast, so we have to prepare our um, man food rations and um, porridge and things, and then pack up and then we'd walk out um, to our field sites. And we were doing a transect across the island, so um, we were basically walking long distances to get to this transect, and then we were following it through the rocks, which covered different time periods. And then I'd basically spend um, periods of two hours at a time crawling around picking up fossils um, or hammering fossils out of uh, bits of rock and collecting them and then we stop and catalogue them and um, we basically do that all day all the way up um, a sequence so um, I spent a lot of time crawling around in the mud actually <laughs> um, and we'd always stop for lunch and eat our rations and then at the end of the day we'd walk back to the tent and go through the specimens we collected and uh, try and identify them so um, yeah a lot of walking and collecting and things like that. It's a very exciting place. It's it's very beautiful. Um, it's it's very interesting scientifically. There's lots of different things to study, and um, the, it's very very good for fossil studies. Um, around the outside, there's lots of exposed rocks um, around the outside of the continent, and um, this is a unique opportunity to study life in the southern hemisphere, which isn't studied um, in, in the sort of uh, fossil sense. It's not studied very much because. Um, it's such a remote place, so we're studying an element of element of evolution um, in Antarctica that you can't see um, in lots of other places. I really enjoyed my experience in Antarctica, and um, there wasn't anything that was particularly hard, but it was very physical. Um, the work in the field, so we'd we'd walk for long for long periods of time with um, heavy rucksacks full of rocks on our backs. Um, and so it was quite tiring and uh, where I was working it was extremely muddy um, and the muddy was really mud was really sticky and you'd sink sometimes and um, I had a tendency to keep falling over <laughs> so I kind of fell over in the mud almost every single day um, but it was still quite exciting and adventurous stuff so I didn't really mind that much. <laughs> in Antarctica when we're in the field we have we don't have a huge amount of spare time unless there's um, weather conditions that mean we can't go out and work um, in the field. So um, on light-up days, which we actually had uh, 10 of in total in my field season, which is quite a lot. And um, in my light-up days, I actually sat in a tent and read War and Peace. And I did some knitting, I knitted a hat. <laughs> and um, um, we played dominoes and just anything we can to stop us um, getting really bored because you're literally just stuck in your tent whilst the blizzard rages outside. Um, we also tried to identify some of the fossils when we were there as well. Um, but when I was on base, before I went into the field and when I came out of the field, I got to do some of the exciting things you can do there. So I upside down a crevasse, which was amazing. It was really beautiful inside, this sort of ethereal blue light everywhere. And um, I also went out on the boats um, with some of the divers and saw all the um, animals that live around Rothera. So I saw like, the minke whales and the humpback whales and lots of different types of penguin. And that was absolutely awesome because um, it, was, it was so different and so exciting. I guess when I was in the field, I, I missed fresh fruit and vegetables actually most. Um, so we're eating all of our pre-packed rations and it was very sort of we ate the same thing every single day and I normally eat a lot of fresh fruit and veg so I actually missed that a lot um, but I think the thing that I missed most was I was I was away over Christmas so I, I missed all my family in, in sort of Christmas sort of period um, but I did get to speak to them on a satellite phone on Christmas Day so yeah that was pretty exciting for them hearing from me in Antarctica on Christmas Day so yeah that was, that was cool.